Let's create a ground explosion effect in Blender. First press Shift A and add a sphere. Go to the edit mode, select the lower vertices and press X to delete them. Next, add a plane, press S then 10 to scale it up for 10 meters. Now select the sphere, in the modifiers tab, add a subdivision surface modifier, set it to 3. Then add a displace modifier, switch to the texture tab, click new and set the texture type to cloud. Change the cloud type from soft to hard for sharper details. Once done, go back to the modifiers tab and apply all modifier. Time for animation. Scale the sphere vertically on the Z axis. On frame 10, press scale and add a location and scale keyframe then on frame 15 increase the scale and add another keyframe next let's add some particles in the particles tab click new set the number of particles you like adjust the start frame to 10 and the end frame to 15 set the life frame to 100 in the velocity section set normal to 0 change object align g axis to 4 increase object velocity to 5 in physics go to the integration set the time shape to 0.065 this control the particle fall speed if the particles are too big go to the viewport display and set the size to 0.02 now select the the plane in the physics tab add a collision increase stickiness to 10 and friction to 1 hit play to see the progress so far now press shift a and add a icosphere for the dust move it outside the scene now go to the add-ons and enable extra mesh add-on then press shift a mesh extra mesh and choose rock generator move the rock outside the scene too select the both objects press m to create a new collection and name it particles now go back to the particles emitter in the physics tab render section change the render as to collection under instance collection select your new particle collection enable use count and adjust the rock count. Also increase the scale randomness for variety and uncheck show meter in both the render and the viewport display. And that's it. Hit spacebar and watch your epic ground explosion come to life. Follow Adobe for more.